everybody welcome in and it is update patch notes time and as we were expecting beauty and the beast is incoming so we're gonna see what type of event it actually is and we're we're pretty sure it's gonna be a legendary and let's go see as we go down through this so stitch event town stitch event tower is coming back and the coastal conflict is coming back so that's great now here they also know that the pass holders the pass holder season is going gold is going to be bell maurice miss potts lemur and cogsworth three new characters now that is very much like uh big hero six how that came out before the legendary so just saying that there's five of them that we might have to collect just like the big hero sixes i hope that they i hope that they introduce them a little bit better than the big hero six characters but we will have to just wait and see for that so platinum um uh, gets maui moana david jones and that's going to be to do help you with the raids and then the and then the coastal conflict to get speed stones and things like that and then it says uh, December monthly calendar is going to be Beauty and the Beast. So we're going to be getting Belle, Maurice, uh, Mrs. Potts, Lemire, and Cogsworth. And then PvP will re reward switching to Goofy. So now it looks like we're on a one month PvP cycle. Jack Jack's going to be out. Goofy's going to be in. Now this is the first time that we've had a farmable character as the reward. So... We will go down to below our node adjustments where Jack Jack has been added into the nodes. And usually they're becoming farmable after the PvP season, but this time Goofy's going to be the reward while he's just been added to farming beforehand. So that's that's interesting. So they are definitely changing things up. And I'll be glad to get more Goofy tokens and to be able to farm Jack Jack, but this is this is very interesting. Um, so the node adjustments, they've added Miss Potts to Grand, um, as well as Jack-Jack, and then Merida as well, but that's not what we're here for. Um, now they've also added, so Maurice and Belle are both added to uh, villains and heroes, and then also they're just saying that they've, they've slotted in other characters like Jack-Jack, and... And they've also put in Pocahontas um, and swapped. So they pretty much just swapped Dr. Facilier and Pocahontas by the looks of things around. Just swapping nodes around to make room. Um, and then Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deals are coming out for uh, everyone, all the spenders in here. And I'm sure that those these days are normally known for super, super sales. So anyone who's wanting to catch a deal... Um, if anyone is a light spender, if anyone is a heavy spender, anyone who's spending at all, these are probably going to be the best opportunities for that to get something that you've been wanting to or get something to invest into. So just keep an eye out on those. Um, Grand Chest, um, they've added Mrs. Potts and Jack-Jack, so because they're now farmable in the Grand campaign. And then for the Ultimate Chest, the chest, chest, They've um, added Mrs. Potts, Jack-Jack, Belle, and Maurice. So that's going to be good, and I'm going to have to open a whole bunch out of mine. And s as soon as these go, go live, I'm going to get opening, and hopefully I can pull some of them. So do you want me to do it on stream? Let me know in the comments below. Um, now here, some big changes. Tactics no, no longer affects passive activation for Merlin. Now, it shouldn't be affecting any passive activation. It was, it was always said that was a bug. Um, they need to fix Sheriff again, and they need to fix a few other characters that are just uh, slipping through the gaps. So they fixed Merlin, and this is all to do with the, um, the soloing raid build, um, and I will have a video on that to come, and a, a few different versions of that video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you can check it out. Cozy released his video, which he helped to make with another club member of ours, um, Phoenix. So they work together, a bit of strategy and a bit of idearing to build up how to do this, how to run this, and they got that working. So here, down the last one, then there's a last little nail in the coffin for that strategy, is subsequent reductions to this character's turn meter um, are decreased in an amount until this character takes the next turn. So it says pretty much, 
if you're going to get a turn reduction time after time after time after time, and they still haven't had a turn yet, that's going to be diminishing. They're going to be decreasing that amount of turn meter to make sure that the bosses are actually getting turns in. So they're not just um, completely skipping. So this is not going to hurt. This is not making them immune to turn meter. They'll be able to take one or two turn meter um, reductions, but they're not going to be take just continual. So that's going to just shut that down. So that's that's a better way of handling it rather than making them fully immune, rather than just making complete characters wasted. Uh, so I think that's a good way to handle that situation. So let me know what are you guys hyped for with these. I'm definitely going to get farming um, Jack Jack. Uh, probably I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and hold off on Jack Jack, but I want to farm Jack Jack. I've been holding out for him for a while, but with all these priorities, 100% gotta get onto the Bell and Miss Potts and Maurice. So I'm looking forward to those, and I'm gonna be farming them up like I did my Big Hero Six. Focus farming them. Make sure I'm prioritizing them, and. Doing that moving forward, let's look out for Beast. It's coming, it's coming. So I can't wait to see what he's going to be like. So let me know what you guys think. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. And as soon as the character's released, we're going to be talking over their kits too.